Okay. What I want you to do, look at me. You cannot change what you don't acknowledge. And let me tell you why people do what you do. People resort to physical violence when they run out of socially acceptable ways to express themselves. And so out of frustration, you lash out. If you will calm down and stop doing that, then you can say, you know what? I'm going to stop going over the top and we're going to start dealing with the relationship issues here. Is she a provoker? She may be. She may be poking you with a stick to get you to do everything you do. I, I don't know. But because you do the things you do, it overshadows everything she does, and she gets a free pass. You're your own worst enemy here. I have a question for him, and if he will answer this honestly, we may actually take a step forward. I have a pivotal question for this young man when we come back. with Kirsten Mike and we're talking about what is a very volatile, what is a very physically dangerous relationship. You know, you two could be in a fight, you could punch her, she could fall backwards and hit her head on the corner of a table, and you could spend the rest of your life in the penitentiary for involuntary manslaughter. And let me tell you, every time there's a dispute between a man and a woman and the police come, they're going to haul you to jail, not her. I don't care if she's got a black belt in Taekwondo and you are Barney Fife. They're going to put you in jail. That's just the truth of the matter. You know that, right? You've seen it happen. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something. If you were at the mall and you saw some guy and he had her pinned up against the wall with her arm bent behind her back, punching her in the side of the head, what would you do? Fight them. You wouldn't allow it? Correct. Then why would you allow it from yourself? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't let anybody else on the face of the earth do it. Why would you do it? Why would you allow yourself to do it? I'm not sure why. I, I mean, I'm not sure why I do it. What would happen when your child gets old enough and says, Daddy, why do you beat Mommy up? How are you going to answer that question? Because your dad's not right in the head. You want to avoid that conversation? Yes. Do you get scared in relationships? Do you get afraid that people are going to leave you, that she's going to get somebody else? Yes. What is it you believe about yourself that makes you think people want to leave you? What makes you feel threatened that somebody wants to leave you? I just know there's always somebody better out there. There's always going to be better options out there. So when, you know, if there's cases where guys have always been on the phones and whatnot, then I believe that eventually feelings will be caught because if you talk to somebody for an extensive amount of time, I believe that feelings will eventually grow. And then they will see, they'll see more negatives in me, more positive in the other person, so then I'll, I'll easily just be switched out. Mm -hmm. So you think if you control her enough, you, you keep her contained enough, she won't be tempted. You know, we got a saying in Texas, you can build fences that are horse high and pig tight, but they can still get out of them. Mm -hmm. you, you can't contain them. Yeah. The, you, you, you cannot build a fence high enough or tight enough.